Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, make sure you turn off the water supply to the washer. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the drive belt in a GE washer. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a socket wrench with the 3 8 head and extension. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new drive belt. The drive belt is located under the washer inside the cover box. It connects the drive motor with the transmission pulley. If the washer is not agitating or spinning, check the drive belt and replace it, if needed. To get to the part, we need to put the washer on its back. I'm going to use the box as a support and tilt it back. Keep in mind, it's heavy, so be careful. We're going to start that uh, from the removing of this cover. It has uh, three three-eighths bolts that we're going to take out using the uh, socket wrench. To remove the belt, we need to pull it on the bottom here and uh, turn the transmission pulley counterclockwise until the belt comes off. This is the old drive belt next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. And now we're going to install the belt onto this uh, motor pulley first. I'm going to try it from the bottom. I'm going to turn the belt and the transmission pulley. There's one important detail while you're doing that. Make sure your fingers are not cut under the belt. And now I'm going to install the, the cover back on. Okay. Use this uh, three, three eight bolts. And I'm going to install them with the uh, three eight socket wrench. I'm not going to tighten yet first. I'm going to put another one. I can tighten that one and I can tighten this one too. And I'm going to install the third one at the bottom. And now we can put the washer upright. Careful, it's heavy. And we're going to remove the box here. Turn on the water, plug the washer in and run it to check if it works properly and there's no leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube and on Instagram.